Hey guys, today I'm gonna share with you my easy and delicious version of Swedish meatballs. My Swedish meatballs are baked in the oven, no cooking them individually over a pan. And once they're cooked, the tender juicy meatballs are added to a rich and creamy gravy. And you guys are gonna love this easier version. So let's get started. To begin, I'm gonna grate half an onion. In a large mixing bowl, I have one and a half pounds of ground beef, and to that, I'm gonna add one beaten egg, half cup of panko breadcrumbs, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one and a fourth teaspoons of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. And I'm also gonna add in the onion that we grated earlier. And I'm gonna gently mix everything up with my hands until it's well combined. I am using only ground beef, but you can also use a mixture of ground beef and ground pork. To make the meatballs, I'm gonna roll the mixture with my palms and form about one and a half inch balls. This recipe makes about one and a half dozen, which is about 18 meatballs. This really is my favorite way to make meatballs because there is no cooking them over the pan and flipping and turning them over. When we're done here, we're just gonna pop these in the oven and they're gonna come out so nice, juicy, and tender. And you guys are not gonna wanna make a meatball any other way. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake these guys up for about 15 minutes. While the meatballs are baking in the oven, let's get our creamy gravy going. In a pan that I've heated over medium heat, I've added three tablespoons of butter. And once the butter has melted, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of flour. And I'm gonna continue to whisk until I no longer see white powder. Now I'm going to gradually add two cups of beef broth. I'm gonna gradually add and whisk at the same time because I want my gravy to be nice and smooth. Now I'm going to add in half a cup of heavy cream along with one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. This makes a good amount of gravy and it's so delicious over some rice or mashed potatoes or noodles. I do prefer it over rice, but with this batch, I did serve it with mashed potatoes and it was so good, everyone loved it. You wanna make sure that you season the gravy well with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna let it cook over medium heat for about three minutes until it's thickened. Make sure to give it a taste to see if any additional seasonings are needed. 15 minutes has passed and our meatballs are perfectly cooked through. Honestly though, I can actually eat them just like this. I've turned off the heat and now I'm gonna carefully add our meatballs into the gravy. There's something about ground beef formed into balls or patties and smothered in gravy that I really love. It's one of my favorite comfort foods. This along with Salisbury steak are one of my favorite dishes to make, especially in the fall winter season. I've turned the heat back on and I'm gonna let the meatballs simmer in the gravy for about a minute. And as always for you guys, I have the full written recipe in the description below if you wanna check that out. In a bowl here, I have some mashed potatoes that I made earlier, and I'm gonna to top it off with some meatballs and smother it with this delicious gravy. I can't wait to dig in. This literally looks like comfort in a bowl. This also makes for good leftovers it tastes just as great the next day. And as you guys watch, you can see that this was incredibly easy to make. The meatballs are nice and tender and the gravy is smooth, creamy, and so delicious. You guys are gonna love this one. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more simple and delicious recipes, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I make cooking videos weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.